is talking and we're going southbound now on to Fairview. Uh, the lights are off on the car, car moving very, very slowly. This pursuit continuing, wondering if maybe they're gonna try to use a pit maneuver on this vehicle, but right now, just a very slow moving pursuit on this Halloween Eve. Yeah, we're following some breaking news uh, here on KCAL 9 as we are following this pursuit. Uh, Stu Modell's and Sky 9. Stu, I counted about six uh, cruisers behind that suspect vehicle. We know that it is Halloween, of course, and I understand that there's speed he's like you said he's disabled uh, one of his tires you saw the smoke coming out of as he went through the lights but uh, he's just a very slow speed it's a stolen vehicle it started probably about uh, 20 minutes ago uh, up in the uh, downtown Santa Ana area now uh, working its way into guard into Garden Grove and as we move along here uh, we're gonna keep an eye on it we're having to stay up at a uh, 3,000 feet due to the uh, Anaheim uh, Disneyland restricted area here so uh, as we push along uh, once we get a little bit further south I'll be able to drop down get a better look try to look at that suspect inside but you see he's stopping for signals now the uh, sheriff's unit the sheriff's helicopter is overhead keeping an eye on him and then there's also uh, police cars blocking traffic uh, uh, on the cross street so that's keeping those folks out of uh, out of the way so they don't get involved so uh, they're doing doing their best to uh, keep people safe out here on this Halloween night. You know, a lot of folks moving around, so they're keeping uh, that in mind as well. They wanted to go into tracking mode on this, but uh, he went into a very erratic driving, so now they're trying to just stay with him, see where he goes. But he's sitting at the uh, uh, and southbound Fairview here. I'm trying to listen to the uh, Santa Ana uh, helicopter, uh, Santa Ana uh, helicopter overhead. They're actually a sheriff's helicopter overhead and uh, Santa Ana PD just trailing very slowly uh, as we continue south on, on uh, Fairview. But uh, very low speed pursuit. And the reason that just he's, like I said, disabled one of those tires, uh, can't really tell which one it was, just was uh, just you know because of the smoke coming out of it. But, uh, and we're coming up to the intersection here, Edna is the intersection he's going through now, southbound uh, San Fernando, or uh, I'm sorry, southbound on uh, Fairview here. And uh, luckily, uh, he's going so slow that traffic is not not in effect to him right now. But uh, as he gets a little further here, uh, it looks like it gets even lighter. So that's a good news. The only problem is you have a lot of pedestrians out tonight. And I guess with his slow speeds, that's going to be uh, uh, able to get them out of the way. But the, the police departments uh, uh, down the way here are listening to this on their pursuit channel here in Orange County. So every agency down here hears this coming. And they're going... At, and uh, they're keeping an eye out for this guy coming down because they can hear it and they're trying to uh, keep it out of the way but there you see a pedestrian just kind of walking across the intersection so uh, we do have to deal with that but luckily he's not able to go very fast as we move along here so uh, right now they're just holding their back there and there's then a bunch of units all right, looks like we've lost a uh, signal with Tim Lynn overhead. Tim, are you with us? There we are. I'm, I'm still here, continuing south on here as we uh, work our way down. Very slow. The damage on the front end there, as you see the headlight uh, bent down. He was at a pretty good rate of speed at the beginning of this pursuit, but uh, before we got here, he apparently hit something that damaged that tire. So right now, we're on him as well as the... Uh, the uh, Santa Ana Police Department here. So let me set it back to you for a second. I, I'm able to drop down. Now I got a court to be able to do that. So let me send it down to you just for a second as we continue southbound Fairview. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, and, and as we uh, drop the helicopter a little lower, uh, we'll clearly be able to get a better view, we believe, of this suspect and what we believe is one person like inside this car. Uh, we cannot confirm that. Again, a stolen car suspect out of Santa Ana. You'd have to assume that with a damaged tire, he likely won't be getting on the freeway. Right. Um, again, this is a stolen uh, car pursuit that we're looking at right here. It started at the Hotel Terrence, is what we're told. Um, uh, that is coming from Anthony Bretagna. He's uh, over there in Santa Ana and, and giving us that information. Um, 
Corporal uh, Anthony Britannia, but again, this is a stolen car pursuit suspect. Ha started about 20, 25 minutes ago uh, and here in Orange County, now in Garden Grove, and uh, slow speeds. But this is what's so so frightening about this is that when this, this is happening on a night like this, when you have so many people out and about um, tonight, even on this Monday night, but it is Halloween, and so you've got um, you know people that are, are are out and about, like you like Tim said, that are pedestrians. Um, that if this were you know, it, it's just a dangerous situation altogether, regardless of the speed at this point. Yeah, well, when they went after this guy initially, full lights and sirens, uh, apparently that sort of t triggered a wild sort of setting and, and more erratic driving. So I guess the, the prevailing wisdom at this point is to just lay back and, you know, sort of avoid fanning the flames, if you will. And, and this suspect has since slowed way down mm -hmm. and is actually obeying the the traffic laws. So um, at this point, the danger has dropped considerably. Uh, the authorities are following. Obviously, they're in the air. Um, LA or Orange County sheriffs uh, are assisting in the air, from what we understand. Uh, and of course, there are black and whites on the ground as well following him, but at a distance. We saw a minute ago he was actually sitting at red lights. Uh, waiting for the traffic to turn. A pedestrian actually walked right across the street in front of this suspect, uh, and the light turns green, then he moves on, but continues to want to go at this point uh, at the, the speed limit. Mm. Tim Lynn in Sky 5 has been following this for us. Um, he's, uh, we're trying to get a closer picture of this, but he's starting to pick up um, his speed. We thought that maybe perhaps that he had a tire disabled earlier, and that's why he was slowing down. Uh, GB5 has both. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. We're at First Street here, westbound, just coming up to uh, Harbor. He did pick up a little bit of speed here. We were able to drop down just a little bit to uh, get a little better picture here. Now he's turning on uh, Residential Street here, and this is rate, uh, what I understand, and south, sound, we're continuing southbound from First here. They have uh, the police helicopter from Huntington Beach as well as the Orange County Sheriff helicopter overhead monitoring this boot, and uh, the Santa Ana units have completely backed off at their a couple of uh, blocks back, they haven't even made the turn here yet down. And then continuing south uh, through here, you saw him pick up just a little bit of speed as we uh, came through there. Now, and now coming, coming, uh, coming down here uh, into a residential track. So that's where we were talking about the problem with, you know, folks out on the street. I mean, it's late for the young trick or treaters, but there's still uh, partiers out here. And you know, we talk about uh, the parties that go on on uh, Halloween. It's one of the bigger party nights, uh, even bigger than your New Year's. So a lot of folks out here on the street tonight in Orange County as we work our way southbound here. We'll be coming up to uh, a major intersection here in a second as we just slowly work through this uh, residential track uh, away from First Street southbound. And so uh, they're they're not even in in the area with uh, the police cars, but they are. Uh, uh, paralleling on side streets, kind of watching uh, the, uh, to see where he may end up. They're just hoping he gets out of the car or the car sure. disabled. You can see we get a little closer There's shot of it right here. A stolen uh, vehicle uh, turning uh, now westbound. And we'll get the, we'll get the name of the street for you here in a second as they uh, call it out. And so right now uh, it looks like they're just uh, content to let him uh, run by himself. Uh, through the uh, the city here. He's in the left turn pocket, going to turn up into a uh, shopping yeah, center here. I believe this is Harbor and looking back, possibly Borsa. I'm just kind of looking uh, from uh, working in the area a long time, just trying to figure out exactly what street this is. But he's up into the shopping center here on the corner and we'll see what he does when he gets in here. He may try to ditch the car and then bail out, but the problem is he's got two police helicopters over him and he's not going to get anywhere after that, but we'll see here. He's up into the shopping center as he moves in and we'll work, work and it's a way around. And yeah. So they're content to just fall from the air at this point. I mean, you know, driving yeah. like this, he's, he's not going to lose anybody in a helicopter. That, yeah, that's right. I mean, he's, uh, yeah, he's not going to get away from the two helicopters overhead. And they, like I said, they, they were talking at the very beginning when he was driving really erratically, uh, and they had the air unit overhead. They decided to let him go, and then when he slowed down, but here he goes into a parking spot, uh, parking here, and let's see, you'll see the air unit pass through our shot here in a second. But we have, uh, like I said, the sheriff's and HB1 overhead watching him. Now we're seeing him open the door and stepping out. And just not nah, very casually, just stepping out and uh, looking around like you know, nothing's going on. Shutting the door and then walking away. Looks like a male uh, uh, in a 
sweatshirt, short pants, just looking around, walking, you know, very nonchalant. But they're looking. Here comes a unit uh, off the street, going to be popping in here. He's coming, going to come right down in front of his unit, stopping right in front of him. Those are uh, Santa Ana units, and there you go. They were right there, and down he goes, Code 20. Anyway, so uh, you can see they got him down and somewhat of a little bit of resistance going on here and uh, as the officers swarm in and uh, suspects in custody. Luckily, nobody hurt during the pursuit. Nobody nobody hit, but uh, the suspect now will be going to jail for a uh, stolen vehicle here in uh, Santa Ana. All right, and uh, there it is. He'll be spending his Halloween night in jail for sure. Uh, Tim Lynn and Sky 5, thank you for that. The suspect in custody of this stolen pursuit, a uh, stolen car pursuit uh, here in Santa Ana. That's the way we want to see it end with nobody hurt. Back with more news in a moment. Stay with us. I'm Governor Jerry Brown. Urging can you have a watch three and watch seven units update their status? 77th watch three and watch seven units update your status. 